Welcome to Hannah and all those who travel and joined uh, with you today. It's been a wonderful, uh, anticipating wait that we've had waiting for you to come in today. We've not been disappointed. Thank you to all the bridesmaids and flower girls and page boys who have been a, a lovely warm up act for Hannah as she comes in. We're going to take a moment to pray for Hannah and Daniel now before we come to our first hymn. God of wonder and joy, grace and everything good comes from you, and you alone are the source of life and love. Without you we can't please you, without your love our deeds are worth nothing. Please send your Holy Spirit and pour into our hearts, especially Hannah and Daniel's, that most excellent gift of love, so that we may worship you now with thankful hearts and serve you always with willing minds, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I hope you have the order of service to hand. We're going to sing our first hymn now, which is on the inside left hand page. The hymn is Morning Has Broken. Will the congregation please be seated? In the presence of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, we've come together to witness the marriage of Hannah and Daniel, to pray for God's blessing on them, to share their joy and to celebrate their love. Marriage is a gift of God in creation, through which husband and wife may know the grace of God, it's given that as man and woman grow together in love and trust, they shall be united with one another in heart, body and mind, as Christ is united with his bride, the church. The gift of marriage brings husband and wife together in the delight and tenderness of sexual union and joyful commitment to the end of their lives. It's given the foundation of family life in which children are born and nurtured, and in which each member of the family, in good times and in bad, may find strength, companionship and comfort, and grow to maturity in love. Marriage is a way of life made holy by God and blessed by the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ with those celebrating a wedding at Cana in Galilee. Marriage is a sign of unity and loyalty which all should uphold and honour. It enriches society and it strengthens community. And no one should enter into it lightly or selfishly, but reverently and responsibly in the sight of Almighty God. Hannah and Daniel are now to enter this way of life. They will each give their consent to the other and make solemn vows. And in token of this, they will each give and receive a ring. And today we pray with them and for them that the Holy Spirit will guide and strengthen them so that they can fulfil God's purposes for them. 
for the whole of their earthly life together. First, I'm required to ask anyone present who knows a reason why these persons may not lawfully marry to declare it now. <laughs> Daniel and Hannah, the vows you are about to take are to be made in the presence of God who is judge of all and knows all the secrets of our hearts. Therefore, if either of you knows a reason why you may not lawfully marry, you must declare it now. Daniel, will you take Hannah to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honour and protect her, and, forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Hannah, will you take Daniel to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, honour and protect him, and, forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. Will you, the families and friends of Daniel and Hannah, support and uphold them in their marriage, now and in the years to come? prayer for them on this their wedding day. God our Father, from the beginning you have blessed creation with abundant life. We pray pour out your blessings on Hannah and Daniel so that they may be joined in mutual love and companionship, in holiness and commitment to each other. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Who gives this woman to be married to this woman? I do. Thank you, Carl. Could you give me a hand right now? This is a very private and intimate bit of the service, but I know that Daniel and Hannah won't mind if you eavesdrop, but you might need to listen carefully. <coughs> so Hannah, Daniel, I now invite you in the presence of God and his people to make your marriage vows to each other. I, Daniel, take you, Hannah. I, Daniel, take you, Hannah. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death must do part, according to God's holy law, in the presence of God, I make this vow. I, Hannah, take you, Daniel, to be my husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death or stoop part, according to God's holy law, in the presence of God. I make this vow. <coughs> yes, I do. Two beautiful rings which Hannah and Daniel are going to exchange in a moment. We use rings in marriage as a sign of the unending love because, because they have no start and no end. They're a good sign, they're reminders of the love that God has for us, which never comes to an end. And they're used in weddings and marriages as a reminder to husband and wife of the love that they're to have for each other. No end to it. But we all need help on those sort of promises. So I'm going to ask, with a prayer now, that God will use these rings as a reminder to Hannah and Daniel of the promises they're making. Heavenly Father, by your blessing, let these rings be to Hannah and Daniel a symbol and sign of unending love and faithfulness to remind them of the vow and covenant which they've made this day through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 I give you this ring. 
Hannah, I'll give you this ring as a sign of how, our marriage. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Daniel, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> In the presence of God and before this congregation, Hannah and Daniel have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They declare their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife, those whom God has joined together. Let no one put us under. Daniel, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Are you going to cry now? Are you going to cry? No. <laughs> uh, love and congratulations from everyone here to you. Would you like to kneel for a prayer of blessing you know. as husband and wife? Let's pray together. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, for you have created joy and gladness pleasure and delight, love, peace and fellowship. We pray, pour out the abundance of your blessing upon Daniel and Hannah in their new life together. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts and a crown upon their heads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, awake and asleep, in joy and in sorrow, in life and in death. Finally, in your mercy, bring them to that banquet where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. Hannah and Daniel, may God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit bless, preserve, and keep you. May the Lord mercifully grant you the riches of his grace, so that you may please him in body and soul and living together in faith and love, may receive the blessings of eternal life. Amen. Amen. It's a reading from the letter to the yeah. church in Corinth, yeah. taken from the Bible, and it's a, to a church that's struggling to get on with each other, and you might make some sense of that. Thank you, Stacey. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is
Obviously, congratulations to you both, and I hope you can sense the love and support there is amongst your family and friends for you here. Um, there's bad news and good news in the readings and promises that you've made today. You promised a really tall order, because in the first questions that I asked you, I said to you, will you love each other? And you both said, I will. And I will is a promise not for today, that's I do. And it was only Carl who said I do. I will is a promise for today and tomorrow and the day after and the day after that and on and on. You're promising for the future. And the reading that we've just heard from Stacey gives us a little excerpt, a little snippet of what love is like. <coughs> you promise to love each other and that's a hard job. So if that sounds like it's a tall order, well it is. Loving like that in any relationship, but especially a marriage, it's is really, easy. really hard work. And you know each other well enough to know that actually, though he's beautiful, he's not perfect. Yeah. Yeah, you are perfect. <laughs> uh, well, maybe, maybe we'll <coughs> um, But all of us will have faults and difficulties that make it hard for us to live with, hard love for it. us to get on with. But you've promised to love each other. And that's a challenge, isn't it? Anyone who's been in any long-term relationship will, I'm sure, admit to the fact that it's actually tough going to make that thing work. The good news today is that you don't have to do that by yourself. You've chosen to get married in a church, which is a bit like saying, God, we want you to come to our wedding. And I want to warmly encourage you to go one step further, which is to say, God, we don't just want you to come to our wedding, we want you to come into our marriage, into our hearts and lives. And the reason I'm suggesting that is because, actually, we need the refueling that God gives us Elsewhere in the Bible it says God is love. So when each of you runs out of the fuel of love for each other, and most relationships do at some point, you can say, God, will you give me the strength to love Anna as I promised? Will you give me the strength to love Daniel as I promised? And God, who is love, will refuel us if we ask him. He is love, and we can know that and be certain of it, because he's gone to the ends of the earth, literally to hell and back so that we can be his friends and companions. Jesus died on the cross and rose again, so that we can be friends and have companionship <coughs> with God. So our, our love and blessings to you on this year wedding day, and a wonderful promise to you that if you ask him, God will refill your marriage with love. That doesn't mean it'll be all plain sailing, but it does mean you don't have to do it by yourself. We've got two little wedding gifts for you here. One is from the church here at St Mark's where you're married, and we're putting there the reading that you've chosen. And probably your cheapest wedding present, which is from me, which is a short piece of washing line. Uh, and um, I don't know if you can perhaps see if I untwist it a little bit. There are three chords there. There's a lovely bit in the wisdom literature of the Old Testament which says that a three-fold chord is not quickly broken. It's the idea behind that is that the third strand of your marriage, if you ask him to be, will be the God of love. Now I've knotted this rope, and I, this morning I welded it, sealed it, so it's not coming undone in our kitchen at home. And I'm going to suggest you put that in a bedside cabinet or something, and let it be a visual prayer. That when you see it, you can say, God, will you be that third strand in our marriage? Will you find us together? Will you refuel us, please? And my experience is that God, when we really ask, He really turns up. And that will be my hope and prayer for you in your long and happy life together. Amen. Amen. I'm going to pass the off. Yeah. Thank you. It's time for us to sing again, so if you'd like to find your order of service, on the inside right hand page is our next hymn, Give Me Joy in My Heart. And towards the end of this song, uh, Hannah and Daniel are going to join me up at the altar in the church to light their marriage candle and we'll pray for them. Let's stand, please. Pray the same. Pray. And we get down here.
problème par ses cris.
Living God, we thank you for all who've had a hand in bringing this moment to pass. And in remembering those we love, we thank you for the love which you've shared with us through them. Lord God, we thank you for the love that you've given to Daniel and Hannah for each other, for the good things they enjoy and for the hope and excitement as they plan their future. As they prepare for married life, please help them and come close to them, deepen their love for each other and give them strength to keep the promises they've made. We ask you to be near to them, not just today as they're married, but please help them throughout their married life to keep their love and friendship fresh. Amen. <coughs> we pray, Lord, for Hannah and Daniel. May their marriage be life-giving and lifelong. May it be enriched by your presence and strengthened by your grace. Please may they bring comfort and confidence to each other in faithfulness and trust. Amen. We pray, Lord, for the hospitality of their home. May it bring refreshment and joy to all around them. May their love overflow to neighbours in need and embrace those who are in distress. Amen. Lord, help them to discover in your word order and purpose for their lives. And may the power of your Holy Spirit lead them in truth and defend them when times are hard. Lord of life and love, we pray. Hear our prayer. Amen. And we pray, Lord, for the gift of children. Lord, may they nurture their family with devotion. May they see their children grow in body, mind and spirit and come at last to the end of their lives with hearts content and in joyful anticipation of heaven. Amen. I'm going to invite Daniel and Hannah to join me in the words of the Lord's Prayer in its more modern form. And if you know the words and would like to join with them, then please do that. Together we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And a final prayer of blessing. Anna and Daniel, may God the Holy Trinity make you strong in faith and love, defend you on every side and guide you in truth and peace. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look kindly upon you and grant you his peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, rest upon you and with those for whom you care, now and always. Amen. Mr. and Mrs. Neil are now going to go and sign their marriage registers, and as they do that, uh, Catherine's going to come and play some music on the flute for us.
Dylan. Dylan. <laughs> Bear with me, I'm nervous. Um, Flower Girls, ab absolutely beautiful. What can I say? Uh, dresses are lovely. I want to thank all the bridesmaids. You all look stunning. No, they don't. Pop. <laughs> <laughs> you all look beautiful. Um, ushers, Gaz and Knife. Uh, best man, Grant, wherever he's gone again. Even though he's been shit. Yeah, even though he ain't done nothing. Um, I was meant to write a list of people to thank, but I can't actually 
think we were meant to thank. So I thank everybody who's been involved. A uh, few words about Anna. What can I say? <laughs> when she walked in today, I was absolutely blew away. Could not believe it. Uh, <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> she looked absolutely stunning. Uh, couldn't have wished for a better day. Um, I remember when I first met her nine and a half years ago in insomnia in Warsaw. <laughs> <laughs> you know, me and, me and a couple of boys. I was with Katrina. Yeah, Katrina, big you up. And yeah, Keisha. But, but. <laughs> Keisha, but, but. Janela. Back in the day, Janela, but, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, nine and a half years ago in insomnia. Oh, I was there with a couple of my boys. You know, he's having a little boogie. Hands in the air like you just don't care. <laughs> I saw her walk in at about half past ten and I said to my mate, this is the woman for me, I'm, I'm going to marry her. And they all started laughing and joking. But um, Anna was really interested at first. <laughs> <laughs> but I was persistent. She told me she didn't want to drink, but I got one. And look where I am now. I know I love you with all my heart. I love you. I'm never, ever, ever going to hurt you. I know. And I hope you don't hurt me. I'm not doing it. I'm not joking. Um, I'll just call out to spend the rest of my life with you. I'm so glad that you missed me all after nine and a half years. Oh. So. Oh. Thanks again for everybody who's come. Who's come? You're all <laughs> Thanks for everybody who's come. Uh, just a few people I'd want to thank off the top of my head and give a little gift to. We have the main people gifts at the minute. But uh, first of all, I want to thank Charlotte and her sister. Lottie. 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 Uh, she's been absolutely brilliant. It's my best um, And if Lee can grab that from over there. He's <laughs> shaking, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks a lot. The uh, second person <laughs> I'd like to thank is Anna's lovely and beautiful mother, Aww. Sharon. I'd marry you for all you Uh Sam again, Lee. Mine better be bigger. No, I'm not. Sam, you The next person thank I want to thank so hard, is. Another beautiful person to me, and that's my mum, who's sitting here next to me now. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, one more person I would thank is the videographer. Top man, doing such a great job. It's a bad day, man. Got the name on it. The blue one. So it was a last minute thing. The blue one. Yeah. That one. Cheers. Oh, I'll have some. Thanks for the photography. Thanks for the photographer. Top man in the back. I don't know, has anyone else done anything? Lovely bro. Love you, Dad. Love you, Levi. Love everybody here, family, boys, friends. Lady. Love you all. Uh, oh, sex. <laughs> what, can, what can I say? Like that. Like that. <laughs> um, last person I want to thank, Lee. The other bags down there for you, mate. <laughs> Appreciate everything you've done Grant. for us. Uh, last but not least, I'd love to thank my best man, Grant. Uh, could have done it without him, you know, but he had done In all honesty, he had done a really good job. But, um, like the you know, he's had his present. Um, Both my individuals and everybody else is that there. So thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Please, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the next speech is from Bride, Bride's mother, Sharon. I've got to stand up. Yeah.
Hello, everybody. How can I follow that speech? Hey. Top job, Dad. Top job. Well, thank you, everybody, for coming. I saved all the problems. So, uh, Shall I just put it down and talk? Can you hear me? No. <laughs> yes, thank you all for coming to join us, celebrate Hannah and Dan's wedding. Can I just say how beautiful Hannah looked today? She looked stunning. I'm so proud, and I'm so proud of them both. How far they've come, and what they've achieved. Woo! I'm really proud of them. Can I just say, can you please be careful with the uh, table decorations? Because Dan's taking it back to Poundland. <laughs> <laughs> He's hoping for a full refund. Can I do anything? What have you told them? <laughs> yeah, well, I'll do it all. I'm lost. As Anna was growing up, she was a sweet little girl. Always ahead of herself. When I met Carl, she was just eight years old. He said, what a sweet, beautiful little girl. God, she could talk for England. <laughs> but nothing's changed. As a teenager, she was quite an handful. At times, I had to go and look for her in the middle of the night. I won a carriage in. When she was 15, I found her drunk in the car. <laughs> I was drunk when I opened the car door. <laughs> but she knows. We only had her best interest at all when we went looking for her. She didn't like being grounded much. Your dad was proud to give you away today. I'm sure he had a dear or two. Am I doing all right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We are very proud of you both. Anna and Dan, it's been a long time coming, this, hasn't it? Yeah. You can tell I'm reading, can't you? <laughs> I am so very proud of you, though. I've already said that, bit, I am. Turn the page. Dan, can I just say, though? Welcome to our family. And I am proud to call you my son now. Thank you so much for supporting Hannah with the business. Thank you. I don't know where I am now. <laughs> I've done that. I've already done that. Anyway. As most of you know, on the 23rd of February this year, we lost the art of our family. My mum and Hannah's now. And I'm sure she's watching down on us now. And thanking everybody who's come today. Please, would you be upstanding and raise your glasses? I've got to do it up. To our now. And Dan. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> my dear and here's the reason why so I can push you out of bed when this baby starts to cry and if we hear a knocking and it's creepy and it's late I hand you the torture see and you investigate yes I'll marry you my dear you may not apprehend it but when the tumble dryer goes it's you that has to mend it you have to face the neighbor should our dogs attack him and if a drunkard fondles me it's you that has to whack him Yes, I'll marry you, you're virile and you're lean. My house is like a pigsty, you can help to keep it clean. That little dinner which you serve by candlelight, as I do chipolatas, you can cook it every night. 
It's you who has to work the drill and put up the curtain track. And when I've got PMT, it's you who gets the plaque. I do see great advantages, but none of them for you. And so before you see the light, I do, I do, I do. Ah. It's been a wonderful day today. Uh, you know, it's marvellous to see so many people. Yeah, you know. Um, I just want to say the way you behaved, you went fantastic. Loved it. Riding room looks smashing. I can't say it. I can't say anymore. You're just wonderful. Anyway, um, Daniel is my second son. I've got my first son, Peter, who is married also. And, you know, it's been a joy that my two boys now is married. What to do I do? He's now married. Um, <clears throat> Anna. He's the most fine. Anna looks marvellous. That's only you, Daniel. You're the man. Yeah, man. You're the man. <laughs> Seriously. You know, um, as, a, as a child, we nearly, we nearly lost Daniel. You know, he went through a rough patch. You know. Uh, me and his mom was back and forward to the hospital with Daniel and it was a worrying time for us but you know we got through it and Daniel is a fighter he's always a fighter you know and you know he's a rock he, he, he's, a, he's a kind of guy that if you and him become friends he will not let you down he's always there and I want to thank Daniel and Anna for making me a part of this ceremony. They've kept me in the loop from the start to the finish. And I love them both. Uh, yeah. And I know they're going to have a wonderful married life. And I know God is going to bless them both. And all I can do is wish them um, a wonderful and happy is married life you can get. They are on our team partners for life. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, guys. Love you guys and God bless you both. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to keep this motion short. Not for your sakes, we're talking it back to drinking. <laughs> for those of you that don't know me, oh, the nerves have kicked in. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you that don't know me, my name is Grant. I'm Dan's cousin and his best man. And he had me some of the best. <laughs> Obviously, I'd like to start by saying congratulations to the happy newlyweds. Well, one of them is happy. You want to just realise she's married, Dan. <laughs> if, but, but on a serious note, if Dan puts as much effort and dedication into this marriage, don't laugh, as he does at wear, then I'll give the marriage two weeks. That's, that's being generous. I know you'll all agree that this day has been long overdue. It's never been more obvious that two people are meant to be together more than Dan and Anna. They really do bring out the best in each other. I'm, I'm well enough here. <laughs> uh, where was I? <laughs> we would all be lucky to find the kind of love that they share on a daily basis. But it's not just the love that they share with each other. It's the unconditional love that they give to everyone around them. They've always been there for me whenever I've needed them, day or night. They've been there for me through the bad times and they've been there with me during the good times. And it's a real blessing to be able to share in their special day. As kids, we were quite close. We would always find a way to have fun. Whether we'd been knocking our man's door and running off and always, and until she went back in, at which point we'd do it again. Or whether we'd be playing football in the entry, which usually just meant blasting the ball at each other, until one of us got hurt, which was usually me. 
but thanks to me, Dan has a long, long fear of grapes <laughs> since <laughs> childhood. <laughs> <laughs> he just happened to trip over his big feet. What well, all just so happened to be chucking grapes at him. And to this day, he still blames me, saying he tripped on a grape. <laughs> Who tripped on a grape? <laughs> uh, but he tells this story to anyone that will listen. But as many of you know, not many of us actually listen to Dan. <laughs> uh, in the later years of our lives, we lost contact. But we reconnected again about five years ago. And since then, barely a week has gone by where we haven't, where without us speaking or catching up. Dan is my cousin by name, but he's a brother in my eyes. When Dan asked me to be his best man, he phoned me and asked if I'd do him a favour. <laughs> that favour, obviously, was to be his best man. And honestly, I was overwhelmed. But in no way is it a favour. It's the greatest honour I could ever imagine. And I hope Dan realises how lucky he is to have a best man like me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are pretty lucky, let's face it. Especially the fact that he's got me stood up here doing something that I never usually do, and I've just crumbled. But being the best man is all he's cracked up to be. You get all the same nerves and stress as the groom. Except there's no beautiful lady waiting for you at the end of the night. <laughs> I'm lonely. <laughs> and I hope Dan realises how lucky he is to have an amazing, beautiful lady like Anna. But it's still a mystery how he did get so lucky, actually. Thankfully, we've reached the end of the speech. I know it won't much. Try to keep it nice and short, straight to the point. So none of us have to suffer anymore, let's face it. I'd like to finish off by thanking you all for being a part of this special day. And I'd like you all to join me in raising a glass to the beautiful Mr. and Mrs. Neil. Yes. I'm sorry it was a bit of a catastrophe. Uh, again, congratulations, Hannah and Dan. It's been an absolutely lovely day. Everybody's loved it. Loved the speech. He's the best man. Was absolutely amazing. All the best to you, man. I know you can do great. Love you both.
Hannah, you looked absolutely amazing. I love you so, so much. Dan, you're amazing. And everything that you said is absolutely perfect. You reduced me to tears and I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much. I love you too. <laughs> Thank you. Hi Hannah, hi Dan, you know it's been such a wonderful day and you both have made us so proud to be a part of this day, we are so happy for you, isn't that right Lorraine? Yeah we are. So happy and we know that you are going to have a wonderful, wonderful future ahead of you and all we can say is have a wonderful life and God bless you both and we love you with all our hearts. Hi Hannah, hi Dan. We've enjoyed your day so much. And it's not only the wedding, it's what comes after. And we'll be there for you. Have a good life. God bless. Yes. Mr. and Mrs. Neil. Yes. <laughs> a new Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Neil. Neil. Love you guys. Love you all. Thank you everyone for coming, we love you all. We appreciate the fact that everybody's made the effort to come tonight. We've had a perfect day. And hopefully we're going to have a perfect future. Babies. How many? More babies, day? 22. <laughs> and here's to another 10 years, 20 years, 40 years. And in 10 years time we'll do it all again in an anniversary, 10 years special. Okay, I'll hold you to that, love you. Love you too, I'll be back. <laughs>